we're going to finally attack this eyesore get rid of this soften fascia and redo it and i got new siding don't like that almond and uh we got a pit to work around so what do you do construct a bridge what was that, was that probably the flying squirrel no, up here no it was that. oh okay <laughs> so, well liner. we'll see flying squirrels were up there we'll see if they're up there but Nesting material. Oh boy. But that wood down there old. They probably didn't move it out when they were Still picking weeds. I'm still picking. Been doing that at home every day. <laughs> making myself at home. It's amazing how much better it looks just with a piece of two by up there. Well, they only had a piece of one by across, and then they had quarter inch, like Luan, <laughs> quarter inch plywood over at the top of it and then he had 10 but you can see when they cut their when they cut the tails the, the bird's mouth out right there they didn't cut them all the same so we we ran a level and it's pretty much straight with the post there to beam on me that header and yet you can see some of them stick down a little bit some don't they didn't cut them just right and set them right i mean it's solid it's not a bad built it's pretty level actually and it's fairly straight so they didn't do too bad a job but all right she's cleaning up the f channel we're gonna just stick it right on there cover up the b holes it's not a smaller black one going over that hole i saw one feeding one. Oh, i see it anyway this is we're gonna get a metal roof we've got metal already ordered i already have it for up there and then later we'll put metal here so this is all getting changed the way it's trimmed out and everything anyway so it'll be fine for now got all the soffit up on this side we're gonna replace this because of the pee and all that staining and everything so anyway time to make some fish got my siding for gables and i already cut myself a nine foot long piece of trim coil so they come in 24 inches this way and I already cut nine but that's a 16 foot um, across there so I figured make some overlap so I just made it a little long so anyway I measured down on the face board and measuring down it is eight inches so we'll have eight inches and then we're gonna take an inch for our bend and then I want to make a return so we're going to hem it so i'll just go ahead and make this 10 inches so let me get this marked and we'll get it set up in the break and we'll cut it at 10 inches and i'll show you about it there we go all right so we mark 10 inches line up the cutting tighten that down but not overly tight because you'll bend the metal a little bit so you want to tighten it just snug enough that it doesn't hurt the metal and leave an indentation all that is is a razor blade knife so you just score it so you push this down bend it down carefully not to make any wrinkles or ripples in it and well but i need this piece but the other piece is in the book so. <laughs> What I'm gonna do, you gotta think a lot when it comes to this stuff. Take some thinking. So, we're gonna pull this guy out, and we're gonna make another 10 inch cut, and then we'll bend this piece inside. We can fix that. to try okay. to film I don't we're going to keep keep this one in the break we're going to cut it 10 inches bend this one first since it's already here so i got to measure down lisa kindly provided me with a pencil this particular break found it's easier to keep it to this side you kind of need a little bit of room for the cutter to 
going off over here. So I always keep it that way. It's a ten and a half foot break, but if you do a ten and a half foot piece, you're gonna be running out of room with your uh, slitter, but it will still do it. All right, so we line that up. Kind of line on, on the cuts. You kind of line it up with the edge of this, the, the actual break part right here. But anyway, that's how I get it eyeball closed. Eyeball closed, and then I gotta just. Can you hold that end so that it doesn't slide when I pull this one out? Is what happens. I'll be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because as I pull this out, that side I want to go in. But since I have a lovely assistant to help me. A problem. Now that it's a shorter piece, you got to work it a little more easily. Okay, you can take that out now if you're needing that. Now, here's where you got to start thinking through your bends and everything like that, especially if you're going to do a lot of different bends. You may have to start in the middle, you may have to start at the end, you may have to work one way to the other. It just depends, and you kind of got to think backwards which way the brake is going to be bending it to fit the form you want. So it can get a little complicated, when, you, but this one's just a simple, just a simple L. So first off, I want to bend it. This, this bends up. So. That's a is it on? Lincoln. Now, now you're, there you go. Okay, don't cut me. Okay, so I flipped that over. I flipped it over because this is going to bend up. So our first bend, we can make that at an inch. And is that for not getting cut or for st stability of the... Strengthens the steel. Okay. when you hem it and it gives it a nice edge yeah it keeps it, it yeah it keeps it from going like wow, wow. <laughs> like it looks now yeah so slide that into your first mark and now we're this time you're up lining against, it up yeah, here to that one instead of the other one there, not here because we're this is the here. the bend line that's the cut line cut yeah. line you, I don't. You can, you can go to. I don't see it now. You can bend it to. I half. gotta pull it back up. No, I want it right there. Oh, you do. I do. That's how I want. Now you can slam okay. that down a little harder. Um, but no, I want it maybe a little short on this one. Okay. Now you can go all the way as much as this thing can go because you're hemming it. And I bring it back out. Is it I hold it lightly in there, and I gotta get my pause. All right, so I got my my hem tool out. Your hemma hemma. My hemma hemma. And I just kind of go light first time across first one. I don't get too too. I mean, I'm dimpling it, but I'm putting a little pressure as I'm sliding on this one, letting that bottom one go free, like sliding like that instead of that doesn't scratch it up and dimple as much. Should come out good though. Now I can really get a good. And then we just slide this in to our line. Now you see how I have a little gap there. That way we don't have it interfering with. It our, moved. Okay. Yeah. But we, now we don't have to interfere with our bend. That's why I made that a little bit shy of my mark. Yeah, on that. You, know, yep. you don't have to, but it helps. And now we want to make. Normally you make this a 45, but being that our soffit goes up at an angle we're gonna have to make it steeper than that so normally you just go to your about right there but being i know that needs to go up further this is tricky but what is the angle I don't know. we'll just try it and if it has to be bent a little more it has to be bent i'd rather take it out and bend it again than bend it too much and then we'd be in trouble so let's see what See what we got. And of course the wind. Comes up. Doesn't take much, just a teeny breeze.
Do you need my help? Uh, I don't think so. Uh-huh. Wait for it? He will. I think that's uh, right where we want it. I like it. Does it even go into the, the, the drip edge at all? <laughs> yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I found it flattening it out. It's like it does, yes. Okay. Okay. All right, that's decent. This is puckering up, needs to push down. It's the, they got an OSB strip there because they ran short on their OSB. So it's puckering up, but um, like I said, we'll put a metal roof on it. It'll be all trimmed out different. And I gotta put that gutter back up because I don't want all the water to run down into the well over here. I hate to put that ugly brown piece of junk gutter up for now because my gutter guy is gonna come and put gutters on the house. But I have to because it's gonna rain tomorrow, of course. No, put holes in my face. Now it won't. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. <laughs> oh, huh? I just learned something. You can push and hold that and get it to turn on. Anyway, I'm recording. Ha ha. I've got editing to do. Anyway, so here we are. We got all the face shits off it done. I think that looks a lot better. And uh, next, we change this. Make it into a much prettier color. Say goodbye.